Have you ever asked yourself this question? How long does sex last on an average? If you've ever asked yourself this question, you've ever thought about it, this video is for you. In our modern society today, a lot of time is spent contemplating on the duration of sex and also how sex should look like. And no matter how you try to see this, this in one way or the other is detrimental to somebody's health. Because you hear couples arguing, you hear boyfriend, girlfriend arguing like, oh, he lasts for just 15 minutes, he lasts for just 10 seconds, he lasts for just 10 minutes, he's not man enough. Definitely is going to affect the other individual self-esteem and these things most times what you see on the internet what you see or what you hear about the average length of sex is not even accurate so that is why i am here today to help educate you on the average length or on the average sex length and this was deducted from a research that was conducted on 500 couples Good day everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Miss Mary, popularly known as a nurse with a difference. And I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, I'm going to be taking that question, how long does sex last on an average? Yes. Before I go further, what is sex in this context? When I'm talking about sex in this video, I mean the time from the time of penetration from the time the penis gets into the vagina to the time the penis get out of the vagina. In the medical term, this is known as the intravaginal ejaculation latency time. Intravaginal ejaculation latency time. So this is the period where the penis gets into the vagina to the period where the penis get out of the vagina so that what that is what i mean by sex in this context so in this context we are excluding foreplay we are excluding all the romance at the beginning we are talking about the main event so what happened is that a research was conducted on 500 women they were given a stop clock to time their sexual activities and that is where this result that i'm going to be sharing with you was gotten from so first of all, the estimated ideal length is exactly 16 minutes. The estimated ideal length of this intravaginal ejaculation latency time is exactly 15, 16 minutes, while the actual estimated length is 9 minutes. The actual length is nine minutes. So for those women or for those men that are waiting for them to last up to 25 minutes, 30 minutes, hmm, this is the estimate. That's the estimate that I was giving. So the actual estimated length is nine minutes. And also the average length was 5.7 minutes. The average length was 5.7 minutes. And this also varied by location. So by location, they found out that those in Turkey has the lowest intravaginal ejaculation latency time. And that was 4.4 minutes. While those in the UK, the United Kingdom, has the highest, which was about 10 minutes. So it varies by location and it varies by individual. So for those that are asking, this is the average length. So if you are able to get to the average length, the estimated average length, it is fine. One thing I understand about sex duration is just coming. Anything about sex with your partner is involves communication and understanding between both parties. That is just it. So, for those that are asking, what do we women really want? It was further that there's no like a research to really hold on to, but most women prefer 25 minutes and above. They prefer a longer duration compared to the normal estimated for that of men. You get. At the end of it, what matters is both parties are satisfied and both parties are okay. So that is what it is. So I think we should stop focusing on the duration. We should stop creating a lot of values. We should stop attaching values to the duration. I stop using that to define who a man is and who a man is not. 
back then i don't think our parents our forefathers our grandparents actually thought about duration on how long they get married they have sex they give birth to children and they are living happily ever after all right so this is what i have to share with you today thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value for all my returning subscribers this is not smith saying thank you bye and see you in our next video